Hello, sir. Lovely day we're having, isn't it? Sure. What do you want? Ah, man that means business. Straight to the point. You and I are a lot alike, you know. But I'm here today as a myth, a manifestation, the last remnant of the American dream. I am a door-to-door -door salesman. But not just any salesman. I also buy things. Well, what are you selling? I don't see anything. In this bag is my product. Anything your heart desires, I guarantee you I have it. Now, sir, would you mind if I come in to discuss this further? Mm, come on. Have a seat. What a beautiful home you have here, sir. But let me just cut straight to the chase. Since we are, of course, both men who mean business. What is it that you want more than anything? Excuse me? This is not a trick question. Anything. Freedom, absolution, perhaps the ribbon wouldn't hurt. A man of taste as well as a man of God. I can't blame you for the absolution though. We have all done things we are not proud of, but it is how we deal that defines us. Now, is there anything more physical that you would like? Name the first three things that come to mind. For number one, I'll stick with that PBR. Uh, then how about an apple and a deck of cards? Perhaps blue ribbon. One apple. and a deck of cards. John Carey is an old friend. So, you ready to do business now? What is this, some kind of magic trick? You one of the magicians? I just, I don't, how? What is this business you're offering? Ah, oh, hey. Now we are Wait, I never told you my name. How do you know my name? I am a salesman. I have lists of all the people in the neighborhood. These unruly higher-ups will give your information out to nearly anyone. It's a savage business, really. Yeah, a bunch of bastards. No sense of privacy. But yeah, I'm interested. Grab my wallet real fast. Holy shit, man, you scared the hell out of me. Sorry, my friend. I just wanted to see the rest of your humble abode. Is this where your demon dwells? I don't know who you are, what you're talking about, or who you think you're fucking with, but I suggest you take yourself back to my kitchen so we can finish this conversation. Oh, Abe. I don't think you know who you're fucking with. And I suggest you think twice before you think about pulling that revolver around me. Oh, who are you? What do you want, you son of a bitch? I... And the reason you stole that bubble gum when you were a child. I am the reason that you fight that poor defenseless little bastard on the playground. I am every goddamn war, rape, robbery, and vile action throughout time. And I have come for what is mine, your soul. You have done some bad things, Abe. Things that a lot of people think are terrible, though I myself quite enjoy. 
Now, you tell me what it is you want so I can leave with your soul. What, are you the devil or something? You're not getting anything from me. Suck my dick. You know I hate labels, Abe. You have no idea what I can do to get what I want. A nosebleed? Is that the best you got? I've had women do worse than that. Let me reiterate. You have no idea what I can do to you. Your pain will make the Holocaust look like a carnival ride. Now, since you're coming to me anyway, I figure if you give yourself up now, I'll take it easy on you. Won't give you as much suffering, but if you make me wait. Buddy, I've done some bad shit. But I don't know the good Lord will lead me on a new path. If you want me, you're gonna have to kill me, and that won't be easy for you. Well, sir, it appears as if we have a dilemma. Due to contractual agreements, unruly higher-ups, I can't technically force you to give yourself up. But hear me when I say, your Lord is not as forgiving as you might think. Trust me on that. It's been a pleasure. See you on down the line.